Hi everyone, this is Shana from Chinooki. I wanted to share with you the latest journal that I've just completed. I'm calling it a turquoise coffee journal. It's got browns, golds and turquoise. You'll see in most of, well actually in all of my journals, I have elements of glitter. I just love glitter and I love sparkle so I added in everything. This is uh, with two signatures. I've bound it with a pamphlet stitch and there is um, 56 pages, so 112 sides um, for journaling. The cover, I used a piece of um, from a adult coloring in book. I love this butterfly which I've added and I put the frame over part of that and then I colored in with the gel glitter pen just in the frame. I thought that would highlight it and make it look, uh, make it pop a bit. And then I've added some MDF shapes and a button and some gems. I've used an eyelet closure with the ribbon. It's the first time I've used the eyelets. Normally I just tie a ribbon around, but I thought I'd try something new and I love the effect and I think it worked quite well. Let's have a look inside. This glitter background paper and this paper is just from a scrapbook pad that I purchased a while ago. These little tags are actually from Project Life. I found a whole lot of them um, on sale at a local store here in Australia so I, I stocked up and they actually work really well with um, as tags for, for journals. I found some cute rose gold large paper clips um, at Kmart the other day and I think they work quite well too. This paper is actually from um, one of Nectar's Creations kits um, on Etsy. It's actually her Chris, one of the Christmas journals, but um, I love the colors and the design. And there's actually no Christmas um, images on here, so you can use it as a generic print. And I just I love I love the colors of that. This is a die cut that I had found oh in my stash. I bought this a long time ago and discovered it again. I thought it worked really well. I love the colors. I just added a little flower with the gem. I haven't gone crazy with pockets in this one. I've left a lot of space for journaling. This is an adhesive um, ribbon that I have. It works really well. I like it. Gives, it's easy to use and it puts beautiful edges or you can use it wherever you want really. But I like putting it on the edges. Here I've put it in the corners. Another project life card. This is um, some coffee stain paper that I've made. I've just put a little bit of watercolor um, on the edge just before I put it in the oven to bake it. So it brings up a little bit of color and I think it works quite well. I've done the same with pink in um, a rose journal that you'll see on my on my YouTube channel. I love the coffee mark stains. I've used that quite a bit too. This is a little bit of um, glitter washi that I have. I like to edge the pages with washi um, washi tape. I just find it just adds a little, a little bit something and it's a little something different. Another project life card. A little bit of turquoise and white stripe washi tape. Another project life card. I've used it as a little pocket. This is actually from um, an old calendar. 
I found, you can see the other side has got all the, the dates for February. I just love the colours. I love the coffee cup and the coffee beans. And I thought it would work well in a coffee journal. I've done a little bit of stamping just down the side. This is a little receipt with a number four on. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see I add one in every of my journals and the number corresponds with the number journal I've made. So this is my fourth journal that I've made. I'm hoping to get up to 100 one day. A little bit of stamping. Sometimes with these Project Life cards, both sides are always beautiful. You're never really quite sure which one you're going to put facing out, but you can always change it. And um, at least the colors always match up and correspond well. Some vellum with the print. I love these adult drawing books. Um, I find them something different. They have a, they have a lovely pop because of the black and white and they've got beautiful details and add a different element to the junk journal. Lots of sparkles. My favourite. This is just actually scrapbook paper from a pad that I had in my stash. Little mini envelopes. And that's my turquoise coffee journal. You can find all details of um, what I have used and where you can purchase it in the description of this um, video. Thanks for looking.